taken our outer piece and we built us a little bushing out of this 5 16th OD. I don't remember what the ID is, but it's for 3 16ths. And um, we've drilled it 5 16ths for this, actually just a little bit oversized. Made it just that loose press fit. And then I just belt sanded the edge of it just to, to radius it down. And our pivot bolt will go through there. It'll pivot there quite nicely, it looks like. And I milled our slot for the detent pin to go in it. So now what we'll do is I need to shorten the spring up. I think we need about half of the spring is all we actually need for it. And before I do that, that we have to deburr the inside of this a little bit. Oh no, it slides right in there. Okay. So I think we'll take half of that spring. That's a five inch spring, I believe. Cut that to two and a half. I'm going to go ahead and cut it a little bit longer than two and a half, and then I can smooth down the end, sand down the end, so we get a flat bearing surface for that to ride on. Well, I've cut my spring in half, and I've flattened the end on the grinder. Now, bear in mind this is a flight control, so what I'll do after I get the right spring length, length is I'll go back and source a proper spring so it's actually the right length. Correct coils per inch and um, has a closed end on both ends because that's tight enough it wouldn't cause a problem, but it's a flight control, so let's be sure and do that right. So we drop that in there, and this will be our, this will be our flap release handle. Just about there. So that's where we want to drill it. It's right at that point. The roll pin will fit through there and lock it in place there. Then to release it, we'll just press down on the handle and that should release us from our flat handle. So let me go back over and drill that and we'll come back and assemble it and see if it's going to work. Now I think we've got it ready to go together. We drill that, takes up quarter inch roll pin, we slide in and out, and we compress it to right there. will get shortened up and just a cap put on. I'll probably turn a billet cap to, to contours nicely in there rather than doing that. But just a, a standard button cap of some sort will be on top, protruding just enough to where you can push it down. And then that will be shortened up, of course. So if we've got our assembly here like this, side all right
standoffs, a standoff up at the top and a standoff at the bottom so we hold standard or so we hold a consistent spacing all the way through. That'll also strengthen it a little bit. inch of travel which would be more than enough we may have to may have to adapt that a little bit but there will be the basis for our flat panel I think that will actually work quite well I don't know that it's really any different than Zenus um, Zenus done a real good job I really wish they would have just sold the prints for it um, you know it's probably by the time I get done screwing around it would have been just as inexpensive for me to go ahead and buy the kit from Xena, but that doesn't really fit in with my home or with my scratch building now does it so we'll do it this way I'll uh, I'll double check things and I'll just think it over as it goes along but this looks like the way I'm going to go ahead and mount it I will probably uh, give a little more support here we're a little bit weak through there and um, I will probably just make two halves, so we'll flange it outward, top and bottom. Well, we'll flange it outward up here, where it mounts against the seat front, and then we'll go ahead and flange it out the bottom where it um, matches the floor. And I'll probably use the same dimensions um, as on the original flap setup for along the floor. I'll run that support, you know, out just as far. Do that on both sides and rivet it to the floor. And then um, probably sculpt it in a little bit more so it's not just a drop down and, and ugly. Um, you know, we'll swoop it down and give us a radius here and, and down to, to match up. But I think that'll work. And we'll adjust this handle once we get to fitting everything up in there. I'll adjust the length of where I think it needs to be. Um, like I say, it will not be it will not be set up just like this it won't be this length I think it will have to come up a little bit farther I know it will have to come up a little bit farther than that anyway um, but we also don't want to interfere with the seat heavier material here this main sh adjustment shaft may stay steel I may leave it 4130 and then do an aluminum 
aluminum tube out the top will save a little bit of weight, not a, not a whole lot, we'll save a little bit. This could probably be aluminum, but I think um, we'll leave it in 4130 and give it a little more support. I'll, I'll give up that few ounces of weight. And then we'll probably put a thread of the adjustment adapter on both ends, very much like the steering rods on the front, and go ahead and use, um, use pivot joints on them. I have those joints here somewhere.